another adventure begins here at New Taipei City and today I'm leaving a hotel and heading to the mountains of Sansia which is towards the south of New Taipei City and that's gonna be where I will be exploring today I'll also be visiting the ceramics town of Yinke so we'll see what happens I'm gonna head there right now on MRT I also have to take the Taiwan Railway so here at the Taipei station where I have to head to Yinge Just got my ticket but everything's in Chinese so I'm a little bit confused had to go ask for directions and exactly which train to take because different trains arrive at this platform at different times Thank God for Google Maps instruction because it's pretty hard to read at Yinka Station Yinka is a town that's situated next to Sansia it's about maybe 10 to 15 minutes by taxi and I'll be staying in Sansia tonight but because uh, well I have some time in the morning I thought I'd stop by this ceramics town and have a look around they have a museum too so that's where I'm headed right now and after a 10 minutes walk I'm here in front of the Yinka Ceramics Museum it opens at 9.30, so I think we're one of the first batches into the museum. Of course, we all love the pretty tiles of ceramics, but the most important one is toilet bowl! The last one will be at the Old Street. Gonna walk there now. And I've arrived at the Yinka Old Street. Now this Old Street has been here for many, many, many centuries and uh, it's entirely lined by ceramics shops. So I'm gonna go, I guess, have a look at ceramics and see if I can buy a thing or two. This place has pottery making classes too. And that's my visit to the Ceramics Old Street. Uh, I guess uh, not much to do in Yinke already, so I'm gonna head to my next town, which is Sansia. I'm on the pedestrian bridge now. And to the hotel we go. And I'm here. I'll be staying at the Bulon uh, Hotel in Sanyin, Sansia, and now it's time to check in. That's Joe, the director from Fulan Hotel. <laughs> He'll be guiding me around Sansia today and we're gonna have lunch. So this is the round meat. Cut it inside as meat. And then there's the intestine soup. So now Joe is gonna take me to the old street of Sansia. We have to enter from here. Going to visit the Zhu Zi Miao. The Zhu Zi Miao. The Sansia Temple. From 
the temple, we're walking into the old street of Sansia where all these red brick buildings are. And we reached the ending of the old street which is about 200 meters long only. So we're here in the Indigo Dye Center. Uh, Sansia is actually very, very famous for indigo dye. And they do a lot of like stuff with this color and this pattern. So this is the center where you can actually learn how to dye. Sansia is also famous for tea. So we're here somewhere along the mountains at the Taiwan Tea Corp to have a look at their plantation. Okay, let's do this in the rain. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's raining so we decided to stop the trail because it's a little bit slippery. But on a good day, it's nice to you know hike up, uh, have a look at the surrounding views and also stop by some of the tea houses for a cup of tea. Since Sansia is famous for their tea, but unfortunately it's raining today our plans a little bit but it's okay so back during the Japanese colony era they used to run this place so this is an old Japanese house that we're gonna go check out About half an hour from the old town of Sansia, I'm here to see the Xingxiu Gong, which is the Xingxiu Temple. So the Xingxiu Temple is situated just in front of the Pai Ji Mountain, which also means white chicken. It was built in the 1960s. And they also have another main temple in Taipei City and a branch in Tamsui. But this was the first temple of the three collective temple by the founder. So since the hotel is very near the National Taipei University, so we just thought we'll drop by before the end of the day. do today before I end my trip in Sansia is to look for dinner. Well, I can go the easy way and head to fast food restaurants like McDonald's. But I think I'm gonna go find something local around this area which is the Sansia New Town where the Fulon Hotel is located. So we'll see what I can find. Uh -huh. I can't read Chinese, but the lady's kind enough to translate it for me and recommend me something. So my hot pot selection is beef in such a broth and uh, it's got this really spicy yet very herbal kind of feel to this soup and I really like it. I have to say what's great about this hot pot restaurant is that the meal is 140 Taiwan dollars for a single person so you can actually come here and eat alone and I finished all my food
and it's a new day so that means more adventures here at New Taipei City. It also ends my trip here to Sansia and Yinka. A very very big thanks to the Fulan Hotel Sanyin for accommodating me for the comfortable stay in the hotel. And especially thanks to the director Mr. Joe for bringing me around a tour around Sansia. And if you want to find out more about uh, my travels around Sansia and Yinka, do head on to my blog at shewalksteworld.com. And uh, this is Min. Thank you so much for watching and do join me on more my travels around New Taipei City. I'm heading up north today and that means I get to see the hot springs as well as a fish market. But that's for another vlog. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe and follow me. Bye!